Hello Granite School District patrons, and thank you for taking a few minutes to review one of this year's population analysis studies. Every year, the Granite School District Population Analysis Committee makes recommendations to the Board of Education regarding potential studies. One of the studies approved for the current calendar year is the Roosevelt Riverfront Study. This study was approved by the Granite School District Board largely because Roosevelt Elementary is being rebuilt in a new location, commonly referred to as the Riverfront Development. Before we discuss the specifics of this study, we want to remind you of the study process. Population analysis studies typically last a full calendar year, beginning in January and ending in December. After gathering ideas and data for potential studies, the Population Analysis Committee puts forth recommendations for studies to the Board of Education, who approve the list. Representatives from the Population Analysis Committee begin studying enrollment data and meeting with the school community councils of all potential impacted schools in March and April. An informational open house meeting is held in May to get community feedback regarding initial study ideas and proposals. The committee then uses most of the summer months to continue analyzing data, collecting feedback, and making further recommendations to the board. In September, at least one additional open house meeting is hosted. Then in October, after the final open house meeting, an update on potential solutions is presented to the Board of Education. If warranted, a first reading is presented to the Board of Education in November. The final step in the process is a second reading, or final action, at the December Board of Education meeting. Once approved, implementation of any change begins the following school year. In the case of this study, any change would take place the fall of 2020. Now that we've discussed the process, let's take a closer look at this particular study. The new school will be located at approximately 800 West and 3800 South. Because of the new location and because of the unique nature of Roosevelt's split boundary, the Population Analysis Committee recommended a study of the area. The goal is to create a new boundary that is contiguous and has all the advantages of a true neighborhood school. This slide demonstrates an initial proposal to have the current eastern part of Roosevelt's boundary become joined with Mill Creek Elementary. Mill Creek has plenty of capacity to handle the addition of approximately 100 students. Since this eastern boundary of Roosevelt and Mill Creek Elementary already feed into Evergreen Junior and Olympus High, no feeder pattern changes are warranted. Next, we see Roosevelt's current western boundary, with the proposed addition of some of Granger Elementary's boundary, shown in green, and Rolling Meadows Elementary, shown in gray. In this proposal, this portion of Granger and Rolling Meadows would feed into Granite Park Junior High, but would revert back to Valley Junior when, or if, Valley Junior adds sixth grade. Students will receive busing to Granite Park, as long as that is their boundary school. However, students in this area will continue to feed into Granger High as they currently do. Notice the proposed enrollment for each of the schools based on this scenario. We hope this summary has been helpful in understanding the often difficult and complex nature of population analysis studies. As the Population Analysis Committee considers different options to reach the best educational outcomes for the students in this area, we encourage your insights and feedback. You may call the Planning and Boundaries Department directly at 385-646-4123, or you may send us an email at boundaries at graniteschools.org. Thank you again for your interest in the study and for taking the time to become active participants in the process.